What up, everybody? You're now tuned into the true definition of the sports fanatic. I'm your host, Brandon Lampley, back today with another video. Shout out to all my audio listeners, man. I appreciate everybody. Man, I just got done watching that game one the NBA Finals, and the Celtics ran the Warriors out the gym. 17 0 run in the fourth. They hit nine threes. Ooh, -wee. I mean, we'll see if they can keep it up. You know, the Warriors were rusty, they had a long layoff. And the Celtics were still hot coming off that grueling series with the Miami Heat. So I wouldn't be surprised in game two if the Warriors get their legs up under them and blow them out in the second game. But I expect it to be a back and forth battle, you know, going six or seven games. But man, let's get into this article. We're going to talk about the running back, formerly known as Ricky Williams. He says, changed his name to fix marriage imbalance. So let's hear what Ricky had to say, then we're going to get into this article kind of been used to being like the the hot shot around her friends and she comes around me and then kind of people kind of forget that she exists okay so there's a kind of an un an imbalance in the relationship and it shows up in our astrological charts and so i started thinking what are ways that things that i can do to help create more balance in the relationship and one of the ideas that popped into my mind was i can take her last name so you heard that there. <sighs> I mean, I, I, I don't know, man. He said he wants to fix the imbalance, but I mean, there's no fixing that, Ricky. I mean, or Eric, there's no fixing that because you're Ricky Williams. The reason she's with you is because you're Ricky Williams. It's because of your athletic prowess. It's because of what you did on the football field. That's why she's with you. That's why there's an imbalance. She's an attorney. It's always going to be like that. I'm pretty sure she probably didn't have much of an issue with it. You know, this was for all more on Ricky because this probably was his idea. Because I don't uh, I don't see a, a woman like wanting a guy to take her last name like this, like or even suggesting it or something like that. You know, this was all Ricky, you know, and I wonder how she really feels about this because, you know, she said it was a sweet gesture. But, you know, get a couple uh, bottles of wine in there and you get you find out how she really feels about it. You know, moves like this do not tend to end up well for men because, you know, it comes off as simpish. But, hey, let's get into this article. So, it's a former Miami Dolphins running back, Ricky Williams, said it was really meaningful to change his last name. Oh, and for my young guys who do not know who Ricky Williams is, Ricky was one of the greatest players to ever play the game of football, college or pro. Only one of three players to rush for 6,000 yards in college and in the NFL speed power cutting ability had a nasty stiff arm I, was, I watched him juke rodney harrison out of his socks and beat him to the pylon man dude i love watching ricky one of my favorite players of all time and to boot he had those dreads swinging as he ran down the field see him blowing in the wind awesome awesome player and of course a lot of people like him you know because he smoked marijuana say during an appearance on the dan lebatar show with Stu Goss last week williams who retired from the nfl in 2012 explained that he changed his name to eric myron to take the last name of his wife linnea williams went by ricky throughout his illustrious nfl career but his actual birth name is eric i did it probably a year and a half ago made it official the 45 year old williams said something i've been thinking about and talking about and i finally went through the steps i went to the social security office with my marriage certificate and i went through the process it was quick and easy and it felt meaningful really meaningful williams was partly motivated and changed his name in order to create more balance within his relationship with his wife he said i found that there's that that's really been power that's been really powerful in creating ease intimacy and trust in my relationship Williams said explaining that he took an astrology class with his wife which helped him to learn more about their dynamic as a couple Williams a former Heisman Trophy winner and NFL rushing leader said his wife is an attorney but his all pro resume and fame was sometimes creating an imbalance within their friendship circles because people will forget about her one of the ideas that popped into my mind was I can take her last name, William said. I think it's cool. It's somewhere we both can win. I, I don't see this as a win for him and probably not a win for her. I mean, I, there, there's no fixing this imbalance, though. Yeah, it's a nice gesture and all, but 
no man i i wouldn't i'm not gonna take um a woman's last name it's just not happening if i decide to get married she gotta take my last name and not no hyphenated uh the names they like to do and all of that no you're gonna take my last name if i'm gonna protect and provide and and bind my life to you where if i leave or you leave i'm the one who get penalized and separated from my children uh yeah the least you could do is take my last name because i'm supposed to uh sacrifice my life for you so it said the former first round pick was also motivated to change his legal name because he said williams is not even really his last name it's one of those family secrets he said my grandma obviously back then you don't say anything so williams was her husband's name but wasn't my dad's father so williams is not even really my last name and if you go back far enough it's idea of it the idea of it is a slave name so i think of what is even the purpose of a last name and i find more meaning in this last name than williams well if he had started with this if this was the original reason and idea behind what he was doing then i could have maybe got on board with this just a little maybe kind of sort of but this is not why he was doing it this is just something he's like oh yeah and this is a slave name so yeah let me get rid of it anyway i mean no he didn't start with this he wanted to create what he wants to call balance which that like i say that balance will never it's never going to be equal because you're a running back and she's an attorney See, the former running back was in a standout at the University of Texas before he was drafted by the Saints with the fifth overall pick in the 1999 NFL draft. He went on to play 11 seasons in the NFL, mostly with the Dolphins, and spent his last year with the Ravens in 2011, rushing for 108 yards with 444 yards and two touchdowns. To me, this makes the story of Ricky Williams more interesting, he said. Yeah, it does make it more interesting. You know, and if, if a former player was to do this, I mean, there, if somebody told me, hey, Ricky Williams was going to do this, when I heard the news, I'm like, oh. I said, I'm not surprised. That sounded like something Ricky might do. You know, and one thing about Ricky, man, Ricky was a intelligent guy or is a intelligent guy. You know, he doesn't he's not just a dumb jock, you know, as the stereotype. Very smart guy. You know, one of the things he's an advocate, of course, for marijuana and the proper use of it. Um, he was also an advocate for mental health. You know, he, all, he talked about how, you know, people could see a broken bone or a torn ligament. But, you know, what about a hurt mind? You know, he dealt with anxiety throughout his career. Uh, so much so, I know early in his tenure with the Saints, when he uh, was interviewed by reporters and he had to do, um, do um, answer questions for the press, he would keep his helmet on you know, because of the anxiety that he suffered from, you know. But, you know, all in all, I mean, this is not going to stop me from being a Ricky Williams fan, you know, because, hey, this is Ricky's life and he has to live it. You know, hopefully, you know, they've been together five years and, you know, she loves this gesture and it helps them grow stronger and closer together, you know, and uh, move forward as a couple. Because that's, that's what it seems like the intent behind this is for Ricky. And, you know, hopefully it works out for him. But for me no sir it ain't happening man you know i'm a firm believer that if you treat her like a celebrity she will treat you like a fan you know men are meant to lead you know even if he didn't like his last name he felt like it was a slave last name uh change it to something else you know not her last name you know but hey that's just me it's some guys you know out there who you know have no issue with it it's men right now other men right now who have taken their wives last name you know and that's just what they want to do so hey to each his own i'm not here to judge you man hey ricky will forever be one of my favorite players of all time man. but man make sure y'all like share and subscribe hey man let me know what y'all think about this would you take your wife's last name if there was an imbalance in the relationship or even if there was an imbalance I mean, has, is it an idea of something that has crossed your mind? Um, you know, just, hey, let me know. Give me a shout out, man. I appreciate it. But, hey, follow me on all my social medias, man. And I will be back with more videos. Peace out, y'all.